Namaste. Good morning, everyone. Please sit in a comfortable position with your eyes closed. Passively observe your breath. Take a few deep breaths. Let's begin our session with three rounds of Omkar followed by the starting prayer. Bring your palms together in the, at the heart center, Namaskar Mudra. Take a deep inhalation, inhale. 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 Starting prayer. Sahana Vavatu Sahana Bhunaktu Sahaviryam Karavavahai Tejasvi Navadhi Tamasthuma Vidvishavahai Om Shant Shant Shanti Release your hands, take your hand behind you, holding your right wrist with the left hand. As you inhale, take your head back. As you exhale, bend forward, bring your forehead to the floor. Inhale, slowly come up. Release your hands, rub your palms. Place them around your eyes. Get a few blinks, gently open your eyes. Let's begin our session with a few warm-up practices, starting with tiger breathing practices. Spread your knees about warm width apart and have your hands in front of you. One hand width and one palm. Okay, come into a nice tabletop position. Inhale, take your head up, look up, push your abdomen forward. Exhale, bring your chin towards your chest and arch your back, look towards your abdomen. Inhale, look up, push your abdomen forward. Exhale, arch your back. Inhale. Exhale. Continue at your own pace, synchronizing with your inhalation and exhalation with your body movement. Try to push further with each inhalation and exhalation. Stretch maximum. Make sure your toes are stretched out. Inhale, look up. Push your down further. Exhale, arch your back. Bring your chin towards the chest and look towards your abdomen. Push further, push further. Inhale, exhale. Let's switch to a variation now. As you inhale, stretch your right hand in front of you, left leg behind you, parallel to the floor. Look up. As you exhale, pull your abdomen up, pull your back up and bring your uh, right elbow and left knee inwards. Inhale and stretch. Exhale, arch your back and pull knee and elbow inwards. Inhale. Exhale. Do at your own pace. A few more rounds. Stretch maximum with each inhalation. Try to reach further. With the next inhalation, stretch maximum and hold the posture. 15 count. 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन Place your right hand on the floor, left knee on the floor, arch your back. Pause for a moment before we switch to the other side. Let's continue with the other side. Left hand in front of you, right leg behind you. Look up as you inhale. Exhale, arch your back. Inhale. Exhale. Continue at your own pace. For a few rounds. The next next inhalation. Let's hold the posture. Inhale and hold the posture, and keep breathing normally. Whenever we hold in any posture, always remember to keep breathing normally. Again, fifteen counts: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Rest your left hand on the floor, right leg on the floor. At your back. Relax for a moment. Let's do the next variation. So, in which we will. Go to child's posture. Alternate with Bhujangasana posture. Inhale, come up into Bhujangasana posture. Exhale, pull yourself back into child's posture. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Do a few rounds at your own pace. With the next inhalation, let's hold in Bhujangasana posture. Inhale, get into Bhujangasana posture. You may rest your knees on the floor. And if you're resting your knees, stretch out your toes. Alternately, you can keep your knees away from the floor. Curl your toes. Hold in the posture. So deep inhalation and exhalation in the final posture. The next exhalation slowly. Come down into the child's posture. Stretch out your toes. Bring your forehead to the floor. And relax in Shashankasana. Slow, deep inhalation and exhalation in Shashankasana. Slowly come up. Again into tabletop position. So from here we will go into uh, Chaturanga Chaturanga Asana. So balance your uh, upper body weight onto your palms. Your elbows directly under your shoulders. And when you're ready, slowly stretch out your right leg. Stretch out your left leg. 
చూపించతురంగాసన ప్లాంక్ పాస్చర్ అండ్ హోల్డ్ ఫర్ ఫ్యూ మూమెంట్స్ ఇన్ ప్లాంక్ పాస్చర్ ఇన్ ఫ్రంట్ ఆఫ్ యూ యు హోల్ బాడీ షుడ్ లుక్ లైక్ వన్ ఫ్లాట్ ప్లాంక్ hold the posture as long as you are able to if you are not able to hold for a long time you can rest your knees and come back again into the posture slowly rest your knees on the floor and there's a little black Let's sit back into vajrasana or thunderbolt pose relax for a few moments allow the blood flow to get normalized when you're ready open your eyes let's get to the asana practices we'll do with uh, pigeon posture rajakapotasana again come back into the tabletop position slowly bring your right knee in between your hands left knee on the floor stretch out your left toe and right foot towards the left side of your mat and look up pigeon posture there are few variations this is one variation of pigeon posture look up and try to push your middle part of the body down stay in the posture keep breathing normally feel the nice expansion to the chest and stretch in the middle back hip region stay in the posture as long as comfortable if you have more flexibility if you have comfortable you can slowly bring your forehead to the floor and stretch out your hands in front of you and bring the palms together to the next variation of rajakapotasana or pigeon posture pigeon posture is very good for hips one of the best hip opening practices and you bring your palms back to both sides of your right knee again come back up to the earlier posture in pigeon slowly bring your right knee back and relax in vajrasana now let's do the pigeon posture on the other side i can come back into the tabletop posture bring your left knee in between your hands left foot towards the right side of your mat right knee on the floor stretch out your right toe pushing the middle part of the body down look up expand the chest and look up keep breathing normally in the final posture stay as long as comfortable in those of you who are comfortable you can go down to the variation of pigeon posture if not you know you can stay in the same bring your forehead to the floor and stretch out your hands feel the nice stretch in the hip region and low back region Keep breathing normally in the final posture. Slowly 
you want to bring your hands back. Again, look up. Pressing your palms firmly on the floor, bring your left knee back and sit back in Shashankasana again for relaxation. Slowly come up again onto your knees into Vajrasana. Here, let's go into the camel posture, Ustrasana. Slowly come up onto your knees. Use your hands to support your low back region. Bring your elbows in line with your body. You may spread your knees a few inches apart, maybe a foot apart for better balance, stretch out your toes. And when you're ready, exhale completely. As inhale, push your abdomen forward, take, expand the chest, take your head back into half camel posture, Ardha Vastrasana. And from here, those of you comfortable, you can take your hands to your heels into the full camel posture. Once in the final posture, stay as long as comfortable, keep breathing normally and enjoy the posture. Ustrasana is very good for lungs in the neck region, and you want to come out, slowly, as you inhale, slowly come up, release your hands, and sit back in Vajrasana again. Let's do the counter posture again. So, Shashankasana. You can take your hands behind you and as you exhale, bend forward, bring your forehead to the floor. Relax for a moment. In Shashankasana. When you're ready, slowly come up. Release your hands. The next asana we will do is Sutta Vajrasana. So those of you who are comfortable, you can do the full practice. Those of you who are not comfortable, you can just place your hands and you can rest on your hands. You can see the demonstration. Keep your hands behind you. Stretch your knees, make sure you're sitting comfortably in between your feet. So those of you who can stay here, you just stay here. If you have more come, if you have more flexibility, rest your elbows on the floor and stay here. Take your head back and stay in this posture. If you have more flexibility, you can rest your crown of your head on the floor and slowly release your hands. Walk your elbows forward, place your crown of the head on the floor and relax. Your hands on either side of the body. Feel the nice expansion to the chest. Nice backward stretch to the spine. Keep breathing normally in the final posture. Whichever level that you are at, stay in the same position. Keep breathing normally. Supta Vajrasana. When you need to come out, don't rush through it. 
Make sure to use your hand support. Press your elbows firmly on the floor, taking all the body weight on your elbows. Slowly walk your elbows backwards. Come up to the earlier posture. Now placing your palms firmly on the floor. Slowly, the support of your hand, slowly come up. You can sit back in Vajrasana and relax for a moment. Allow your blood flow to get normalized, absorbing all the changes in each of these postures. Slowly release your right leg, release the left leg, sit in, sitting relaxation posture, Shitala Dandasana, head back. Let's do a few sitting warm up practices. Spread your legs as wide as you can. Let's start the Chakki Chalan. Cross your fingers, your hands in front of you, and start from the left side. Make big circles with your hands. Firmly place your heels on the floor and try to make as big a circle as possible. Inhale backward, exhale forward. Then down clockwise. And opposite direction. And down. Then now you can start the practice. Bring your feet together, tap them a few times. Let's continue our asana practices. We'll do the Parivutta Janasir Shasana. Placing your right foot on the inner left thigh. Take your left leg towards the left side. Hands on either side. When you're ready, with your left hand, try to grab your left toe or left ankle, which you're, you're comfortable with. Make sure to stretch your back. And when you're ready, as you inhale, slowly take your right hand all the way above and bring it towards your left toe. Look sideways, you can close your eyes and keep breathing normally. Paribhutta Janasir Shasana. Feel the stretch on the right side. Collapse on the left side. You press it on the left side. Keep it normally in the final posture. Slow normal breathing. Slow inhalation, slow exhalation. Observing the breath. Chairs lying as comfortable in the final posture. When you're ready to come out, slowly take your right hand all the way up and come up. Release the grip. Release the right leg. And from here, let's switch to the other side. Bring your left foot into the inner right thigh. Right leg stretched out towards the right side as wide as you can. Use the support of your hands if you need to. Straighten your back and straighten the posture. And when you're ready, grab the left and the right toe with the right hand. And your left hand all the way. Make a big circle 
and bring it towards the right toe. Look towards the left side, feel the nice stretch on the left side. In the final posture, keep breathing normally. Jhana Sirshasana is head to the knee posture. Your head is going towards the knee in this posture. Parivrutta is alternate or twisted. Keep breathing normally, observing every breath. And relax in the final posture as long as you're able to hold. And you're ready to come out. Inhale, slowly raise the left hand up, come up. Release the grip. And raise your left leg. And sit back in Shitila Dandasana. You tap from each other, hands behind you, head back, close your eyes and relax. Next up, now we will do is Gomukasana, the cow face posture. Bend your left leg at the knee, bring your left knee pointing forward. Bend the right leg at the knee, place your right knee over the left. If you're not able to sit in this position, you can sit simply in Vajrasana. Align your body, your back will get straight automatically. Using your support of your hand, stretch out your back. And when you're ready, take your left hand behind you. Take your left hand behind you. Use your right hand to pull up your left as high as you need to. And those of you who have who does not have a lot of flexibility, you can use support of a towel. You can use the support of a towel and try to push your pull your left hand up as high as you can. Those with flexibility, use the right hand to pull up your left hand as high as possible. When you're ready, inhale, take your right hand up. Exhale, take it behind you. Grab your left hand with the right. In the final posture. Hold steady in the final posture. Look straight and keep breathing normally. Stay as long as comfortable in the final posture. Gomukasana or cow face posture is very good for the lungs. Helps in using the upper lobes of the lungs. Feel the nice expansion to the chest. Also, this posture will help in improving the posture as well as the concentration, focus and concentration. Especially good for people who are used to sitting in a chair most of the day. Exhale completely. As inhale, take your right hand up, release the right hand, release the left hand, release the right leg, and release the left. Take a few deep breaths. And relax. And after a short relaxation, let's switch to the other side. And your right leg at the knee, right knee forward, pointing forward. Left knee at the knee, left knee pointing forward, left knee over the right. Stretch your back. Align the back. And when you're ready, take your right hand behind you. Use the left hand to pull it up as high as you're able to. Inhale, raise your left hand up and grab your right hand with your left. You may be more flexible on one side versus the other, 
which is natural, depending on whether you're right-handed or left-handed. In the final posture, keep breathing normally. Always in every final posture, focus on your breath. Slow, deep inhalation and exhalation. Observing every change of the body. When you're ready to come out, release the grip. Inhale, raise the left hand up. Slowly bring it down. Release your right hand. Release the left leg. And release the right leg. Relax again in Shitra Dandasana. Slowly open your eyes. The next asana we will do is Purpura Samatuvala Asana, elbow plank. So from here, we'll get into the Vajrasana again. Bend your right knee, bend the left knee, sit in Vajrasana. You can come up to the tabletop. Slowly place your elbows on the floor. Elbows directly under the shoulders. You can stretch out your hands and palms firmly on the floor. And when you're ready, slowly stretch out the right knee, stretch out the left knee, and come up to the Samatovarasana, Kurpara Samatovarasana, elbow plank. The whole body is in one line, balanced on your elbows and the toes. Look straight and keep breathing normally. Try to hold as long as you're able to. If you need extra grip, you can cross your fingers and hold on. And those of you who are not able to hold for a long time, you can rest your knees on the floor and come back into the posture again. Tighten the whole body. Exhale, bring your knees on the floor. Slowly bring the middle part of the body on the floor. And bring your chest on the floor and chin on the floor. And lie down in, in Makarasana, crocodile posture. Your palms on the floor. Rest your chin on the palms. And your feet on the floor with your toes away from each other, heels towards each other. Take a few deep breaths and relax in this posture. From here, let's go into the Bhujangasana. Another variation of Bhujangasana. We did one variation, variation earlier. So place your chin on the floor. And hands by the side at the shoulder level. Your toes touching each other, bring your feet together. Now, when you inhale without taking body weight on your palms, slowly raise your upper body up to the abdomen high, as high as you can, and look up. Inhale. Do not take body weight on your, on your palms. Body weight is on the middle part of the body. You should be able to lift up your hands in this posture, in this variation of Bhujangasana. Keep breathing normally. Stay as long as you're able to. Feel the pressure in the middle back region in Bhujangasana.
Sí, el bingo de Chinanda Flor. Place your hands, take your hands on either side of your body. Pause for a moment. We'll do another variation of this. Taking hands behind your back. Cross your fingers. And when you're ready, as inhale, again, slowly raise your head up. All the way up to the, raise your upper body up, all the way up to the abdomen. And hands away from the body. And look up. Another variation of Bhujangasana, Cobra posture. Take a few breaths in this posture. Exhale, slowly bring your head down. Relax for a moment. Keeping your hands at the shoulder level. Slowly bring your hands under your chin, cross your fingers. Crossing your fingers, place your chin under in your hands. We'll do another variation of Bhujangasana. This time, firmly press your palms on the floor, your wrists on the floor. Slowly come up as high as you can. Try to straighten, straighten your hands and look up. In this variation, you'll feel the pressure in the low back region. Keep breathing normally. Exhale, slowly come down. And relax, release your hands. Relax in the class, huh? Crocodile posture. The next asana we will do is the Shalabhasana, locust posture. Bring your hands down. Slowly tuck your hands, your palms under your thighs, palms facing up, chin on the floor. We will do it one leg at a time, and then we will do it both the legs together. Inhale, raise your right leg up as high as you can without bending the right knee. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, raise the left leg up as high as you can. Exhale, down. Let's do a few times. Inhale, right. Exhale, down. Inhale, left. Exhale, down. Inhale, right. Exhale, down. Inhale, left. Exhale down. Now we're going to hold the posture. Inhale the right. Raise it as high as you can and hold. Few slow breaths. Exhale down. Inhale lift up. You may use your hand support if you need to. Exhale down. Now when you're ready, let's do it both the legs together. Inhale, raise both the legs up as high as you're able to without bending the knees. Use your hand support. Feel the pressure in the low back region. Shalabhasana, a locust posture. Exhale. Slowly bring your feet down, release your hands. And relax in Makarasana.
take a few slow breaths, observing all the changes. The next asana we will do is the Dhanurasana, bow posture. Again, place your chin on the floor, hands by the side. Slowly bend the knees. Bring your feet as close to your body as possible. Grab your ankles. You can spread your knees a little bit if you need to. So we'll do a few inhalation and exhalation before we hold on the final posture, okay? Inhale, slowly come up. Exhale, down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Now let's, let's hold the posture now. Inhale, and hold the posture. Tighten your grip. Make sure, try to push your feet away from your body to get more stretch. The whole body is balanced on the middle part of the body. Look up. Keep breathing normally in the final posture. Slowly bring the chin down, release your grip, bring your feet down, and relax in Makarasana. Slowly roll over to your back. Roll over to back into Shavasana. Let's do a few counter postures. Let's start with Pavanam Tasana. Bring your feet together, hands by the side. We'll do one leg at a time. Inhale, raise your left leg up 90 degrees. Bend at the knee. With your hand support, grab your leg, pull towards your chest. When you're ready, inhale, and raise your head up, putting your chin. A nose towards the left knee. Tightly hug your left knee, left leg. Inhale, raise your right leg up. And make big circles with the right toe. Point your right toe and make big circles, five clockwise and five anticlockwise. Pranamukhtasana helps in releasing any tight spots. Releasing any air blocked opposite direction. Slowly bring the right leg down. Exhale, bring your head down. Place your hands. Raise the left leg up 90 degrees. Slowly bring it down. Let's repeat with the right. Inhale, raise the right leg up 90 degrees. Bend at the knee using your hands. Pull your leg towards the chest. Tightly hug your right knee. Inhale, raise your head up. And when you're ready, raise the left leg up. Pointing the left toe. Make five big circles clockwise. And five anti clockwise.
Dersin içe bağlısına. in the right side, just in your head, in your right hand, in your left hand, just on top of your abdomen, two keys, one each, and your arms are going out here, so we raise your legs up often as you please, as high as you can, and bring back, do it a few times.
Shrinidhi, your volume has become really low. It's pretty low, I'm not sure. Okay, now? Yeah, that's fine. So a little bit of saliva and moist in your throat. Bring your awareness to your mouth, nose, eyes, entire face of India. Then relax further. Let's produce the Makara sound, mm, sound as we exhale. Take a deep inhalation. Mm. Observe the vibrations of Makara sound in the head region. Feel yourself nicely relaxed the entire body. Just slowly come out of the Shavasana. Slowly slide your hands above your head all the way on the floor. Give a nice linear stretch. Slowly roll towards the right side, bending your knees, place your left hand on the body, feel the entire right line of the body touching the floor. Using the support of your hands, slowly come up to a sitting position. in any meditative posture. Keep your eyes closed. So let's do one round of pranayama. You can do alternate nostril breathing and loma viloma. Those of you who are already familiar, you can continue the practice for six to eight rounds. Those of you who are new, you can use your right hand. Use the right thumb to close the right nostril. Exhale from the left nostril. Inhale from the left. Slow, complete inhalation. With the right hand ring finger, close the right left nostril. Open the right nostril. Exhale from the right. Complete exhalation. So inhale from the right. With your thumb, close the right nostril, open the left nostril, exhale from the left nostril. This is one round of alternate nostril breathing. Continue six to eight rounds at your own pace. Make sure to do slow, complete inhalation, and slow, complete exhalation.
the next exercise from the left side, you can stop the practice. Let's end our session with one round of Omkar followed by the person prayer. Bring your palms together at the heart center and Namaskar Omkar. Take a deep inhalation, inhale. Closing prayer, Shanti Mantra, peace prayer. Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha, Sarve Santu Niramaya, Sarve Bhadrani Pashantu, Makasche Dukha Bhagavi, Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. May all be happy. May all be well. May all living beings be well and safe. Peace, peace, peace. Please your hands, take your hands behind you, hold your right fist with the left hand, make a gentle fist with the right hand. As you inhale, take your head backwards. And as you exhale, slowly bend forward, bring your forehead to the floor. Inhale, slowly come up. Raise your hands, drop your palms, make them nice and warm. Place your palms around your eyes. Give a gentle massage to your forehead, face, and neck. The palms in front of you, looking towards the palms, a few things open your eyes. Namaste. Thank you.